So I'm watching this podcast and Joey Diaz is speaking with Joe Rogan and they're talking about music. They're talking about um, Pink Floyd. He's a big Pink Floyd fan. He thinks that The Dark Side of the Moon is one of the great, greatest albums ever. I reviewed that album. I agree. Okay, it's one of the greatest albums I've ever heard um, and has them in like my top three favorite bands of all time. Um, but he was speaking about Pink Floyd and he was speaking about Led Zeppelin and he was talking about Jimmy Page being the greatest um, guitarist ever. Okay. Which is subjective. Okay. But I've heard, <laughs> I've done quite a few reactions of Led Zeppelin. I'm not going to put up an argument against it. You guys know that follow the channel. My favorite guitarist that I, that I've discovered is Adam Jones from tool, the pot, are you kidding me? Uh, descending. Okay. I mean, I'm not a crazy, I don't care how many notes you play. It's how the music makes me feel. And I just love that Les Paul, that sound of that guitar, his style of playing. But then it's David Gilmore for me. And then uh, Jimmy Page as well. So it's like I can, you know, if I was picking, those are like the top three people I love getting requests from and, and hearing, hearing music from. And of course, I've reacted to other greats like Eric Clapton and um, I can go on. I'm just music that really resonates with me. Those are the three so far in this, you know, journey of mine. But um, he was speaking about Jimmy Page and he was saying that Jimmy Page is the greatest guitarist ever. And the song remains the same is proof of that. What's going on, everybody? My name is Polo. Hope you guys are doing well. And today we're checking out Led Zeppelin. The song remains the same. Do me a big favor and like the video if you like this type of content. Let's go. standing out to me like that bass line is, is gorgeous and then the, the, the drums there right, right before the very end guitar is beautiful another classic just already I'm getting chills I'm gonna restart it here Ugh. I like that part there bing man this is insane my brain's tingling right now it's hard to focus on the drums everything the drums but that on the first listen the bass line is gorgeous oh my gosh Oh 
hours for that. <laughs> That's insane. the guitar comes in is just so vicious like just an incredibly mean riff man it's just very very aggressive just just beautiful The master class on all levels, you know, from every everybody's killing here. That is so mean. Time signature on this.
as someone who is a lover of music, I wonder if kids today will ever be bored enough to come with some come up with something as equally great as that. You know, I, I really wonder because you know how bored you have to be, <laughs> how how long you have to, how much time you have to spend in the studio to put something like that together. Maybe they did it quickly. I don't know. They could be aliens for all, for all we know, but. It's just incredible that they came up with that sound. And this was just one of the, again, every song that I've reacted to from from Led Zeppelin has been like a 10 out of 10. You know, I have no reason to tell you guys I don't like something. If I don't like it, I don't think I don't think it'll make a difference what my opinion is. So I'll say it, you know, and I have to, I can't cap on this. This is just genius level music to me. Okay, just just amazing. Um, and it's a different experience. You guys, I've been on YouTube for about going on two years now. And for the most part, you know, I listen to a little bit of music outside of hip hop and R and B. Uh, so I did have some select songs, but I wasn't really all the way out there listening to like Tool, Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, uh, Pink Floyd, Metallica and so forth. I wasn't listening to, to anything, anything like that. So this has given me a new, um, like a, a new love for music, you know, because, you know, there's so much that's been opened up as far as, the, like, I can't even go back to listening to a lot of the old music. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm lying on that when I do still listen to my old music. I don't listen to a lot of rap as much anymore, but that could just be me getting older. But um, I've been listening to some crazy country music, too, as well, as well believe, believe it or not, because I can relate to some of the stories. And uh, and I like the simplicity of, of a lot of it. So I've been listening to that and... My playlist is crazy. I'm rambling. This was amazing. I en- I enjoyed this. Basically, is what I'm saying. This is a ten out of ten. It definitely makes the forerunner. Um, no one sent in a request for this one. This one I was um, watching a podcast and I wanted to hear what Joey Diaz was talking about, and he wasn't lying. Okay, you if he, if he says he's the greatest, I agree with you. If you say David Gilmore is the greatest. If you say whoever you want to say, all, all these guys are pretty much playing at elite levels, in my opinion. It's just more whose music or playing style appeals to you. I love the sound of Adam Jones's guitar and how he makes things sound very simple, but it's very powerful. He doesn't have to do a whole lot of this to, you know, even though people do that as well, and it's uh, incredible. <laughs> you know, I'm not picking one. I'm just saying, but it, that appeals to the music that I really, really love, he's at the top of the list when it comes to, to playing. But this is equal or better, you know, your choice. But it, it, it was amazing. So anyways, uh, if you like the video, do me a big favor and like the video. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.